Big Bang should have created equal amount of matter and antimatter in the early universe. So, today, everything we see, from the smallest form life on Earth to the largest stellar objects, is made almost entirely of matter. Why? 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 Discover the mystery here. We know an incredible amount about the history of our universe and how it evolved from the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago. But perhaps one of the biggest mysteries remaining is right at the beginning. Let's wind back time. As we travel backwards, the universe gets denser. Way back, over 13 billion years ago, the first stars and galaxies were just starting to form. Further back in time, our universe is now only a few hundred thousand years old. The first atoms form, and light becomes free to cross the vast expanses of space. This is the origin of the most distant light we can detect today. Now we are back to within trillions of a second of the Big Bang. This soup of fundamental particles provides the basic building blocks of everything we see around us today. And at the very beginning, our universe originated from a point, a huge concentration of energy. E in E equals mc squared. Perhaps the most famous equation ever, it can be used to describe how the mass in our universe formed from the huge concentration of energy in the Big Bang. C is the speed of light. A concentration of energy produces equal amounts of matter and antimatter, matter's mirror counterpart. Matter and antimatter are opposites. Put them together and they annihilate. You get back pure energy. And indeed, after the Big Bang, this happened, but not entirely. Almost all the matter and antimatter annihilated, leaving energy in the form of photons. But there was also a tiny bit of matter left over. Why? Well, that is one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in physics. The whole universe formed from this tiny amount of leftover matter. Physicists examined rare particle decays to look for differences between matter and antimatter that could explain the imbalance. It is a mystery that is fundamental to our very existence. <laughs>